very beginning, but we're cutting into it right now. All right, so it is... Okay, and then we're working on we're working on the names right now. All right, anyway, so it is uh, Foster and his teammate. Um, so uh, we got Pete Sheik, uh, one of, you know probably the favorite for this tournament, definitely the favorite for this tournament. They win most of them, but like you know Cobalt Cobalt's team sometimes does it. I like that down throw decision. Um, Marth Fox obviously a very strong team, you know. Uh, a lot of high-level representation with QFAT. Um, really requires a lot of synergy and precision, though, just because of the nature of Martin teams. Like, he doesn't really um, get super free, clean game plan like, uh, like you know, Fox or Peach does. Um, he kind of, you know, I mean, Sheik has a lot of good game plans, but, like, really synergistic game plans is a little bit more character-dependent for her, I feel like. Because she has to, like, really position her moves and, like, you know, put herself in good spots proactively to, like, set up solid team combos. But, you know, she can just do good Sheik combo, you know, neutral defensive things, and it works pretty well. So, um, which is, I suppose, kind of similar to Mart's game plan as well. But, you know, support character. Um, support is difficult for teams. It requires a lot of awareness, especially to make the team combos happen. But first throws, real solid. Um, they went for the, the down throw to up smack earlier, which is definitely some of the better stuff for, for blue team. Especially in this matchup. I feel like those uh, those confirms are gonna like four throw to up smack is gonna work for a long time. Nice down tilt. Um, that was really solid uh, pressure, supporting pressure in the mark. Good up smash, closing out stocks. Up smash, oh no. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. It's tough though. It was, it was like right on the edge. I didn't think that he was going to hit his teammate. And he, uh, he could have drifted back off ledge. I agree with like the setup he used to get there. He just like needed to drift slightly different than not up smash his teammate. And then um, I feel like Fox kind of um, jumped the gun on that disruption there because off of down throw, do you want to commentate with me, Dust? Are you still in tournament? Okay, cool. Well, uh, Dust sits on the couch with me, so I'm not just solo commentating. Yeah, this is game one. Um, oh, it's Mewtwo. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it is pretty close. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of like the neutral stage in teams. I feel like that's kind of everybody views it. It's like the battlefield. But, like, his, like, Marth is obviously good on FD in general, but, like, a lot of his, like, super busted single stuff isn't... Yeah, it doesn't really work <laughs> like that on this stage. Like, Unless you're one of the only Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're playing Marth Ice Climbers. That's not a good team. Yeah. Okay, so the red team has got a lot of really good explosive hits. Man, Pete Feek, their neutral, is just so strong in doubles. Broken team. Yeah, really broken. Although Marth Fox is kind of broken. It's just way harder. Yes. Um, it requires a lot of precision from Marth. And, like, Fox really has to make a lot of plays. Yeah, but the players are not as good. <laughs> but they are solid. They're everybody on on screen is pretty solid. Yeah, mid high level doubles. You know, it's it's why Float is a good team. I could see them going pretty deep in a major. It would require some bracket luck for sure. But yeah. Yeah, um, I think I think I know I think Fox Martz is really good on Yoshi's story. Yeah, because like if you watch, that's true. But like Tipper on side platforms is so strong, right? That's true. You know, so it requires awareness. But like I don't know, few fat. Oop. That's true. And um, I've watched uh, I've watched what play on uh, Yoshi's, and he's not good at abusing. Yeah, that's true. And he's like not super great at abusing the, the side platforms. Um, like you know he does it, but like you watch the Fat play or something like that, and you see them. Yeah. 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 Teams is rough like that. Ooh. If he, that would have been a really solid up smash. Had, uh, the, the Martha grab step up smash is really strong. It's like... Yeah. Let's say, uh, you know, honestly, I feel like they can kind of ignore Teak as long as they are mindful of needles. And, uh... 
Drill. <laughs> Use down air. Oh, that was so upsetting. Yeah, that was my setup. They definitely two people just lost neutral simultaneously. Two keys not moving and down smashing in place. That. Yeah, Mushu just needed the short hop drill in that spot. That's that's like the easiest counter to to peek down smash man, and it's really good in teams. But oh well, the moment's passed. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe it was an info club. Yeah. I like the uh, Tomahawk grab that he went for, because then he could have uh, he could have downturned Pete towards Fox. Uh, but uh, Harry jumped out of it. Nice back air. Uh, obligatory nice back air. Uh, yeah, well, it's because Melee is a game with nice back airs. <laughs> yeah. Nice back. Well, okay, now, now I'm really self conscious about it. But nice short hop back air, is that better? Like, I don't know. I think short, uh, Fox's short hop back air is good in singles, but I think it's like very, very, very strong in teams. Yeah. Definitely one of the better moves in the whole game. It's a real problem for Luigi in particular. No, dude, that. Oh, man. He could have just fared. But, like, he, he was going for the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. Being aware of the stray hits. Uh, I forgot to enter. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, Sheik's up smash is also really solid. For team Tom. But like, you know, the 2v1 is always so strong. He could. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like making. Oh, that was. I don't agree with how that neutral situation played out. Mark. Yeah. He is. Oh, okay. The thing is, I only need one hit. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think up tilt, but that was good, I guess. Oh, that was good. The back throw, too, because it, like, it's really hard to... Oh, my God. There's so many decisions that are being made by Blue Team that I just don't agree with. Like, it, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's like, the thing is, is... Running through Fox is good. Okay. Nah, that was so much closer than TV. Running through Fox like that is good, but as Marsh, you should be waiting for that in particular, right? Because, like, Mushu was doing, like, the, like, defensive, like, dash dance thing to try and, like, not overextend, right? And then, like, kind of the counter for that is, like, to just dash through it. But, like, it's it's what's job to cover that, right? And when he just gets... I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah, that's fair. But... I mean, Blue Team takes a game, though. It's best of three. Yeah. I'll probably see a ban on Dreamland, and we'll probably go Battlefield. Again, Battle Yoshi's. Maybe Yoshi's, but probably Battlefield. Because, like, Marty's very good on Yoshi's. Uh, by the way, starting on top platform in Team sucks. It's, like, not good. I just, like, showed up down there, like, someone beat out this hitbox. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean, he... That's like Falco privilege, though, you know? <laughs> like, nobody else gets that strong of a downward hitbox. Yeah. Dude, uh, you know, what did Mushu uh, have, like, a pretty solid track record at this tournament? Yeah. And they, like, usually make it pretty deep. You know, they've been in losers' finals several times. Yeah. I think uh, I think Foster is like a really solid support player in general. Uh, what? Yeah, that's his first name, right? Fuck. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's hard, man. Yeah, my bad. I'm glad you clarified that for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, 
the stuff he makes happen are like people end up in the air because Stray hits and then Mark hits them. Ooh. Oh. Uh, up here? Okay. I, I appreciate that he went for that up smash because it would have been gross, but that was never going to hit. <laughs> That, ah, they need to practice that. That setup is so strong. Yeah, like he died for it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I feel like he just kind of flubbed there. Like something weird happened. Like he wasn't expecting to run off, or I didn't quite see what happened. But. Nice. Oh. Yeah, they did give them the time and space to kill Peach, though. They didn't get it, because Harry's good, but... Yeah. But they had, they had, um, if Martha had gotten the grab, they could have up smashed and she would have died. I think, um, I think, uh, Martha Fox is probably one of the better teams of closing out stocks on Peach. Uh, yeah. Just because, like, Martha's, like, it's not hard to grab Peach, right? Like, a big part of the reason it's so hard to kill her is because she doesn't get grab combos, so she can camp shield. Um... Yeah, yeah, Mark just grabs her, then Fox up smashes her. Um, and like, boom, you know, strongest grab for him from doubles, probably. Two seconds, we're taking photos again. So, like, I'm busy doing commentary. Do you not want the people to hear what they, uh. Connor, I didn't think it was funny. Um, he can. Like, he had, like, down tilt. Uh, yeah, this is it. Well,. It's really hard to hear Mark in, in teams in particular. Not so much in the 2v1, but the stalling ability and just like timing the roll. Like your teammate can't really help you, you know?